Hey guys, what's up? Josh back here with another video. Uh, I'm going to be doing a little bit of work on the car again tonight. Uh, as you saw last week, I replaced the uh, bushings in the front mount intercooler. Uh, I was missing the bushings for the lower front mount intercooler, as well as some of the clips that hold on the bumper and the clips that hold on the uh, bumper bracket. Those were uh, brittle plastic, so I ordered all those. I'm going to take the front bumper off again and replace those. And then I've got that package right here. So shout out to Terra Firma again. These guys are a company uh, located here in the U.S. And they are part of uh, the supply chain for the Nismo Heritage pieces. So they've got a lot of all the OEM factory parts that you need and what's cool about it is it's like two-day shipping so if you need something real quick you're in a pinch you can get it and not have to wait for it to come from Japan or something like that so we've got a few things in here so these are going to be the bushings for the intercooler on the bottom so brand new rubber bushings. The other ones were in pretty decent shape, but they're they're hard and uh, definitely dried out. So I figured since I replaced the radiator bushings top bottom and I've got the top bushings on the intercooler, I might as well replace the lower bushings as well. So these are the clips, the retaining clips I needed. So these guys hold in the the bumper brackets that hold the front end of the bumper on. Right behind that turn signal there's some brackets down in there. So it's going to re replace those and then I've got some clips for the front grille. So behind this front grille I'm going to get this all taken apart because these clips are all, when I took this off, they're so brittle they just all cracked and fell apart. So I've got brand new Nissan clips there. So in order to get this front grill off, these are the clips back in here. So you have to remove those on each side. They just pop out. These are all real brittle, so they just broke when I pushed down on them with a little screwdriver. But this other side here, you can see these are still intact. So I'm going to go ahead and remove those. So as you can see on either side of the grill that holds it in is these two little clips on each side. So I got two on the left, two on the right, and one in the center. So I only realized I didn't realize there was five, I only thought there was four. So I'll have to make do with just four. So if you have to replace those, remember to order five. Now when you're working on the bumper, there's a bunch of these little retainer clips here, like this guy here, that have to be removed. Uh, mine were broken, the ones from Nissan. You've got quite a few of them, so you have like one here, little plastic clip there. So the ones I had, that was actually missing them on either side, so I didn't even have any on the car when I removed the bumper, and then this one was broken. Uh, you can order them from Nissan, they're kind of expensive, they can be anywhere from like three to seven dollars a piece. So I just ordered this universal kit, uh, from Amazon and it has all the different clips in there a uh, bunch of different sizes for pretty much whatever you would need and it'll save me a ton of money because this is like 25 bucks so I can replace any of the clips uh, on the bumper underneath the car so I'm going to be putting on like the lower uh, engine cover little plastic guy over there and the uh, the wheel fender protector cover so I'll be able to use all that for those as well so just a heads up if anybody's looking to save some money, not OEM Nissan, but you'll get the job done. 
So I'm going to go ahead and remove those and we'll pull this bumper off. Also going to have to remove the headlight on the other side. I already have the other one off, but there's just a single Phillips screw that holds it on just right on the top here. If you haven't taken these off, super simple. Be careful with the tab. The tab on the top is made out of plastic, so if you put too much leverage on it, you can break it. And then there's just a single plug on the back. Holds that on, so once you get that off, I'm going to give you access to that other plastic clip here. So we'll pop that off of the flathead again. So you've got a screw on either side underneath here that holds the bumper into the little bumper clip here. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that. And these are the little clips that I'm replacing that I showed you because they look a little kind of brittle and worn. All right, let's get this other one off. So of course, when you guys take your bumper off, you're gonna have a lot more to take off because I've got my wheel liners and everything already disassembled out of here and all the lower stuff. So you don't have to, I didn't have to disconnect any of this lower stuff down to this part of the bumper as well. So uh, your bumper will be a little harder to take off. So keep that in mind. All right, let's pull the bumper off. So it just lifts off here after you get these off. Just slides right out. So for bushings, this is the look at the front bumper beam. But on the top there, See that little bushing behind the end, the headlight there, the little rubber bushing? That's replaced. Uh, that's what holds the, the top of the intercooler in place. So it keeps it stationary from moving. Kind of, kind of a bad angle, but that's brand new. But the ones that I was concerned about that I wanted to replace, but they're on back order. When I started this project of buying the eBay intercooler that didn't fit, and so I decided to clean my intercooler by painting the, uh, or putting paint stripper on there. So that's all back down to the bare aluminum, so it looks pretty good. But I need to replace this guy down here, which is at the base of the intercooler. So I'm gonna take off these intercooler pipings and hopefully I can just get this free enough. I'm gonna try not to dismount the front bumper beam.
taking that out, but it seems like it's easier just to take it out. So just a comparison here, just to focus. So that's the difference. So I mean, they weren't horrible, but they're definitely a lot harder. This is a lot more pliable, and that doesn't really move at all. So replace those, just slip on, and then we will reverse the installation. And this is the uh, the blow off valve return piping it goes all the way along here, vents it back into where the intakes come. It's the other side. So let's slip the intercooler back up in there. Oh, and here's a look too. So those upper bushings sit right in the bumper cover. There's a better look at it. So that's where you're going to slide the top of that intercooler back into. So those brackets right there slide into it. And then of course the bottom just mounts to the frame. So let's get those in there. This bad boy up. Alright, so you got that wiggly and cool piping back. At the same time, you get the back on. Which means good. The bolt on that side is good. And not the bolt. At least that's not going anywhere. That's the other side. The last time I did this, I put the air on. And then I put the bumper bracket on. But I feel like taking it off the steps. I want to scratch it. I just can't get it. Seems like I'm going to have one easier. Center I want, so it melts. The bushing is sitting flat. You're not critted. Right now we had silicone spray on the charge pipe from last time I did them, so I don't worry about those at all. Those are good. Otherwise, we put a little silicone spray on there. Just help me slip in position.
Okay, I'm gonna spike that up. I didn't realize that, so. Back over here. Let's knock it back down. Let's knock it down. Touch back down again. All right, so we're gonna get these brackets off. I'll do this side, and I won't show you guys the other side. I'm gonna see both, but as you can see, this bracket right there, this little plastic clip, this is the one that's broken. So I was just concerned with how that screw was seating there. There wasn't really much holding it there. Just gonna pull those out and put the new ones in. And that one actually looks really nice. I think I'm gonna leave that one. Up real quick on either side. And new one's in. And one up right. That's just a bumper right. side all right so I got this one out on this side and all I really had to do is just sitting in there it was so brittle all I did was just pinch the back side of it and the plastic just broke off just like most of the other plastic clips on the car they're just old and dried out so that one's out new one is in Mount it back. All right. Stainless steel screw again. I'm definitely a lot stiffer going in the first time than the other ones were. Brand new fresh plastic. Feels a lot more sturdy too, so I think it'll hold that bumper bracket in place a little bit better. Now when I put these brackets on the way the Gretty bumper was, I'm not sure about the stock one, but I make sure I lift this up so it's in the maximum highest position. Because the first time I put the bumper on, I let it kind of sit in the lowest position. And there was a little bit of a gap that was noticeable between the where the place that the bumper secured here it kind of pulled it down so you could see a gap between the bumper and the headlight so something to think of not sure if it's going to be the same for the stock one but i wasn't planning on this but i'm going to make a modification to this front bumper so this little area down here there's really no purpose for that it's going to actually restrict the airflow to the intercooler so i'm going to take my saw and i'm going to cut all this off and uh, yeah, I mean, originally this was for the factory mesh black grill, like the wire grill that went across here for that to clip into, but I removed that because I didn't like the look of it when I was cleaning up the intercooler. Cool label on the uh, front of the bumper on the inside, you can see the trust sticker. But anyway, I've got my, my line drawn here. So I'm gonna cut along that line with my saw.
going to be a lot more a lot more of an aggressive look I think plus help include or improve the airflow so I get this cleaned up but it turned out pretty good nice clean cut went through it pretty quick so get that thrown back on I was getting a little excited and ahead of myself there. I almost forgot that I need to replace these clips right up in here. So I'm going to break those out with some pliers and put the new. All right, so I got that one broke off. I actually had to break the pieces off from underneath because these aren't the easiest to pinch off and pull out from the top because there's these little, uh, once you get it into position, it's like these little uh, clips that hold it in there. So, but I got it out. Oh, that's in. screwed into position here. clip on this side so like I was saying on the brackets try to mount them up as high as possible otherwise there's kind of a little bit of play where it pulls down on the bumper so so I was just kind of bending the side taps back and then using my vice grips to get a good grip at that plastic tab and just ripping it off from the bottom and then once I get that removed I can just pull it off from the top just like that I like the new one pushed in Probably done this before I got the bumper into this position. Made it a whole lot easier. But sometimes I like myself a little bit of a challenge. Alright. Bend this up just a little bit. Alright. Screw in and then this side is done. Finish the rest of the bumper. And what I do when I get that bumper all the way in, I uh, kind of push back on the front of the bumper to get it all the way back as far as it can go.
Oh, that one's snug. Put this clip in here. I'll show you guys the difference in these new clips. So you can see these are actually pliable and they flex. Where these other ones that are in this grill. These things don't don't move at all. They're just hard as a rock. So I'm gonna get all these off and then put the grill back on. And so this is the back side of the clips to get those out. You can see on the camera there, it's just a Phillips screwdriver. So you can see you just twist it and then a lot of just pop out. That's gonna be all kind of crooked and Kind of sitting out like that. You gotta make sure you push the, the lips back in so it's sitting down within this uh, little cutout area. That way, when it clips into the car, the clips are in the right spot versus these are kind of out. So I'm gonna push them back in and then I'll put the grill in. that it's all popped in nice and snug let's put it back on the car so of course just line it up with your points you should just push right in and I used one of the old ones just for the middle And that is in the, the radiator shroud cover in. So this thing before was all wiggly ever since I had it. It was only being held on by just like one good clip. The rest were broken. So that looks pretty good. Front bumper's all done. Did some adjustments over on this side. This never really lined up good. So I drilled a different hole through the top of the front bumper to actually line this up. So it's nice and flush now, fits perfect. And this thing's on there solid. Everything lines up good, which is nice. So yeah, I think that turned out pretty good. Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. If you liked the video, give me a big thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments down below at the bottom of the page. And if you'd like to see more videos, might as well subscribe, why not? And as always, see you tomorrow.